Hey there, and welcome to another Dave Does video. Today it is a Patreon request. That's where one of the patrons gets to pick up to three videos per month for me to check out. Uh, today's video is Groundhogs and Sad Go Round from 1974. So I just did a, tr a track of 19, uh, fulfillment of 1976, which is really kind of more trippy. Uh, I'll be intrigued to see where this one goes. Uh, so without further ado, let's go check it out. Three, two, one, go. They're obviously English blues rock band. I felt the last out one we did off film was a bit more air influenced by Americana. So they this this is that hard rock too. So I, I'm guessing the Black Sabbath influences what they're kind of referencing English do. I have to be honest, drums are just nowhere near where they need to be in the mix. I mean, it's got the doom elements in the riff right, but you don't feel that oppressive. Who is the singer for this band? It's it, it, very familiar voice. I need to find out who that is, because that's going to bug me the way. I'm just wondering if they sing it any other band or something like that. Tony B. I mean, it might just be the singing style of that particular era, that's why it stands out. No, it's just not been anything else I would have known, so... I mean, it just sounds like quite a lot of that era sync stuff. Okay, so that's Groundhogs and Sag around. Um, interesting track. Okay, so it's only three minutes long and it felt longer than that to me because it didn't really go anywhere. It kind of just started and it started that main kind of riff section and it just kind of played that the whole way through and just loops, um, which isn't a massive problem because we've seen bands do it in modern kind of blues rock, uh, hard rock sort of stuff. So imagine bands like Crozier for me did it with the song clean my wounds it's the same basic riff the whole way through uh and works perfectly well really hooky really catchy and i said on fulfillment when i reacted to that one that it was a time capsule of a song and that but bands remixing remastering shouldn't be done in this case i actually would like to hear this song remixed or re-layered or re-recorded because the it's it's you can hear the doom elements on it but it doesn't feel very doomy because it's not got the layer of the guitars that it needs to for that lower riff the lead guitar riff is just a little bit too nasally in its tone needs to be kind of brought in vocally they put a little bit too much reverb which is kind of a classic effect that you did in the 70s it could have been the recording technique in the room that they used uh people liked in the doom to have a lot of more reverb and even now, some of the guys like Andy, when I talk to him on the ADK, he goes on about, there's been a couple of bands that we've done, some black metal bands that we, we reacted to. And 
I thought the production was awful because it was just too much reverb and I'm like you need to clean this up and he said he loved that because that's what the vibe was so maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong on this one uh, but for me to make this more accessible the potential of a song where it just sounds like a demo recording that we would record now in a garage and then take to a studio I, there's so much potential for that to sound bigger uh, and more intense and that's why I would like to actually hear this re-recorded not to, to get rid of the old one at all but I just think if this was re-recorded this would have a place within modern doom um, as it stands I don't think it does have a place in modern doom because it doesn't have it has the it has the genetics of the early doom but hasn't quite um, In modern Doom fans are probably not quite... I don't know. If you're a modern Doom fan, let me know. I'm talking for you like I'm a Doom fan. I'm not a modern Doom fan. So, uh, yes, I like a bit of Paradise Lost and stuff like that. And a little bit of My Dying Bride. And there's a few others in there. But generally, it's not a genre I listen to. Because I like to be quite positive and happy. And Doom is quite miserable, to be quite honest. It's You have to be a quite a miserable git to really like Doom that much. Hence Andy. Sorry, Andy, mate. He's not actually, he's not a miserable git. He's a very chilled out, happy-go-lucky guy, but he just comes across as a miserable git on the ADK channel sometimes. Uh, which is why I find it so funny when everyone calls him Rich such a miserable git, because I know him very well, and he's not. But there you go. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I just would like to hear this. Considering how Fulfillment is such a much longer song, I'd actually much rather listen to Fulfillment again than I would this one. Because it's, it, I mean, when I, when I saw it come from the screen, I'm like, oh, cool, three minutes, this is going to be good. And then I got about a minute and a half in, I'm going to guess, somewhere about halfway through, going, okay, this is now starting to drag already. I don't know if it's moved that down. And you're here, it's just like, okay, oh, I don't know. I just, I just want to hear it better. I just want to hear a better quality version of it and uh, give a better opinion on it. But as far as the genetics, the DNA of the track, uh, I did enjoy the track from that point of view. I just want to hear a better version of it to make me feel feel something more for it. Maybe that's a better way of putting it. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.